could easily take it to full depth on this cut, but, but I'm just going to take about half of it, conservative. Uh, you know, you can look at it like this way right here. I mean, we're going to turn this in for grade when it's all finished. So, measure from one side of that pipe over here to the other side on the outside. You, you can easily see that it is exactly one and five sixteenths of an inch. Perfect. One and five sixteenths of an inch cross that way. Okay, if you if you look at our hole that we are up to now, and you measure from over here to over here, lining them up, it is a perfect one and a quarter inches. Meaning that it needs to be a sixteenth of an inch bigger. So when you adjust this out by eyesight. You're, you're moving that over one half of a sixteenth is how much you're gonna that's how much you're gonna move that cutter over you know about now is when you get serious with it so in order to do that you come down to where you can get a visual on it right there and you lock it down there that gives you two hands to work with while you're adjusting this. So, I need to adjust it over a half of a sixteenth, but because that's it cuts on both sides, you know. Now, now now's when this little dial comes into play. You know, you can turn that and get it exactly on the sixteenth, you know. Uh, I mean, that's the way they, the instruction come with it said do that, but it, you, you, you can see half of a sixteenth, I'm saying. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going to rain now. Okay. I don't think that's enough. Because uh, I want it to end up on the, or the, on the big side. Uh, there'll be a reason for that, and I'll explain it to you. But I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that where I'm at right now. It may be a little small, yeah. But <clears throat> it's better. Um, well, uh, We'll see what we got. Yeah, I'll turn that finish right there in for grade. And we ain't done with it yet, though. Uh, to see what we've got, this is a part of the pipe. So, oh, it's so close. But, 
it's at a slight angle, but it's going to be too tight for what we were going to do. And I show you something. Uh, if you clean that away, the original scribe line is right there. And also the equal amount on this side. So I haven't reached the initial scribe line. But let's, uh, let's see, uh, you know, about what size is it. And, well, well, I should measure that with uh, something else. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we get with this battery-paired uh, instrument here. Okay, what to read in the bees, what it is. And it's 1303. Okay, let's look on the chart and see what that is. 1303. Well, 312 is a uh, 32nd. Yeah. Um... So, we are at 303, so that's nine thousandths that we have to go here in order to, uh, we within nine thousandths just by looking at it. So now, we, we can get that nine thousandths up there on that dial, but it's going to be too tight, so... Um, Yeah, I'm gonna allow I'm gonna allow some overage to the point that this will fall in there easily. And I do understand there's an offset here and it puts this at an angle, so I will work with that in mind, like sawing off another piece. Oh no. Should have one. Oh yeah, there's the other end of that one. Let's put that one on there. Bounce one. So, oh, it's so close. A matter of thousands. Now's when you get serious with it. Perfect. 